Now this is the work head which I showed earlier in my uh, in my previous uh, video and I'm going to use this to sharpen the end teeth of the end mill which I've just uh, reground. Now I use different sized bushes to take different shank sizes of various cutters and what I need to do now once I've got uh, got the correct bush is to select a tooth rest now I don't use a, a rigid tooth rest like I did at sharpening the cutter I use a flexible one made of uh, made out of uh, old um, hacksaw blades now these are the best kind uh, these other blades are for various uh, different size cutters and this is the flexible one and you need a flexible one so that the tooth of the um, the float of the end mill can ride over it without uh, binding if I use one of these it, it, you wouldn't be able to rotate the uh, end mill I could use the dividing attachment built into the work head but it's much more accurate to use a flexible uh, tooth rest now with the cutter inserted into this bush uh, the bush is pushed in so it's in line with the uh, grub screw and then tightened down and it locks uh, the cutter in place now whenever I grind slot drills end mills I always try and grind them uh, slightly hollow towards the centre by about half a degree so that the the wheel cuts towards the centre of the cutter leaves it very slightly hollow and this ensures uh, free cutting of the uh, the end teeth ideally it wants to be uh, dead uh, square but I find that just a slight hollow um, improves the the cutting action and clearance uh, for chips on uh, on cutters ground like this what I need to do now is just to dress the uh, face of the cup wheel slightly just to hollow it back so it presents a sharp um, cutting edge well everything's set now and the spring uh, the spring tool thrust is in place and the cutter's seating firmly on it all I need to do now is just lower the work head to 7 degrees for the uh, for the relief angle on the front teeth just now making sure everything's okay and that the wheel will uh, clear the tooth above the um, the cutter is um, seating firmly on the spring uh, spring blade tooth rest but you need that springiness for the cutter to rotate and I'll get the stop set so that I don't run into the tooth above Now I'm just about to uh, dress back the uh, front face of the cup wheel to present a narrower a cutting edge to the uh, end tooth. Uh, I normally have my um, extractor attached to a guard, but I've removed both this time so that uh, you can get a clearer view of uh, grinding the end teeth. Uh, this is a bit uh, the eighth of at the moment. Um, holding the uh, extractor pipe and dressing the uh, cup wheel not to be recommended and this is a flat a flat diamond uh, and this produces a really nice smooth edge Just removing some uh, some of the dust that's um, escaped. Not much, really, only a tiny amount. But I like to clear up. I don't want the uh, uh, grinding grit uh, all over the place. Well, now everything's in place, and uh, we're ready to take the the first cut on the end teeth. You could use uh, the dividing attachment, but as I mentioned earlier, this is this is a lot more accurate way of doing the uh, end teeth. And the most important thing is to make sure that the stops are set on the machine, so we don't go crashing into the uh, tooth above. Now 
No, just uh, just touching on and the stop is set so it doesn't uh, hit the tooth bit of hub. I'll just go around now and uh, grind each tooth. Now you can see how the um, the cutter indexes on the flexible blade. It's quite firm and there's no flexing. If the blade was further back towards the centre of the uh, cutter. As you um, went round and indexed the uh, the flute, it would just bend. It would bend the blade, and it'd be no good. It's got to be firm. It's got to uh, it's just slightly in front of the uh, cutting edge of the flute. I'm just now going to tilt the the work head. To 12 degrees for the uh, secondary on the uh, on the teeth. You could probably use 10 degrees, but I've uh, I've always used around about 12. Also, I shall uh, adjust the position of the wheel so it doesn't strike the tooth above, and make sure that my stops are set. I'm just going to go around now and put the uh, 12 degree uh, clearance on. Uh, normally when I do uh, do my uh, cutters, I just usually follow what's already on. I don't normally bother doing it the, uh, the book way, as uh, I've been describing. I find it quicker. I never, I never have any problems. Uh, it's just a matter now of going around and cleaning up uh, the teeth. I think that just about does it. Here we can get uh, a clearer view of uh, of the teeth that's being ground. Here's another view of the finished end teeth. Whatever happens, parents don't guilt trip your kids, and kids don't make your parents feel that they're guilt. Now, when I grind my uh, slot drills in, in this attachment, I take off this um, indexing collar. And then use the uh, the spindle, uh, which slides in and out of the, uh, the steel bush. And with the spindle uh, having no side movement, the cutters are automatically ground parallel. I'll show this in uh, in my next uh, video on sharpening uh, slot drills. I hope you found this of interest, and thanks for watching.